Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran O you who believe Fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was prescribed upon those who were before you in the hope that you will reach taqwa. There are two main things I want to just note in this beautiful ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all does not just address anyone and everyone. This address is to a particular type of people. And if you consider yourself part of this group, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you. He is addressing you subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu. In the Arabic language, when you say ayyuha, ayyuha is a form of respect, is a form of honor. To a people when you address them, you've given them respect, you've given them a status of honor. So it is amazing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, insha'Allah, this status of honor. He has called you those who believe, ayyuha alladheena amanu. Fasting and Ramadan is not for the people who like to show off on the outside. It is something that no one can really see in your actions. It's something that's quite secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for this reason, Allah began by saying, Ya ladina amanu, O you who believe, belief is something which is a secret inside of your heart. It starts in here. So he is speaking to your hearts. This is something very intimate between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is connected to something called Rahmah, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am calling out to you, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu. I have honored you. Only for you, I have written upon you to fast. Fasting the month of Ramadan. As I have written it upon those before you. Meaning, it's not something new. It's always been there. It's always been with the Christians. It's always been there with the Jews. It's always been with every single nation or tribe that a prophet came to. It, has, it is written upon you as it was written upon those before you. It is as though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that you are the final of these nations and you will carry the final command in the best form. And I will not command it ever again after you. What will happen after you is the end of time.